Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries Radio. Hey, my name is Tony. All right, another day, another dollar, baby. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you tuned in. It's a timeless rating, so whenever you press that play button, I believe that spirit was motivating you to do so, and I'm so happy to have you. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel, helps me tune in to you. All right, so collective reading, right? Any energy, any sign. If I haven't said that twice, I haven't said it at all. And what is it? Past, present, or future energy could be at play here. Keep that in mind. Energy does not have a gender. So if I say he or she, please excuse and forgive. All right. So let's do what we need to do and call in spirit and get this party started, shall we? Spirit guides and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, understanding, and hope of their situation. Please protect me as I channel these messages. Please protect my beautiful collective. Amen. Baby. All right, so let's start this part of baby, shall we? And thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I love your subscriptions, baby. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. It means the world to me. All right, so let's see if there's any astrological signs, any messages that we can start channeling from. Cancer, water sign. Aries fire sign right we got air signs gemini libra aquarius so we have everything represented except for earth at this point we have heal we have authority we have strength dignified we have and beloved mm -hmm. so and we have Earth, amen, Capricorns here, Earth. So we have Earth, Fire, Water, and Air. All of them are presented, so it could be, be anybody, maybe. But here is a person of authority. It could be you or your person. Person that has strength, very dignified individual. And very loved, it's saying here. But you had to heal from something, is what I'm hearing here. Yep. And it could be from one of these signs, or you could have one of these signs in your chart clearly because all of them are represented. But there was something here that needed to heal. And I don't know. We'll go on to see what what that means. Let me get my cards going. Just cut them in today, so I'm going to share them with y'all. And let's see if there's any more messages for these signs. Spirit, can you give me some more messages for what this means about healing? Oh my goodness. These cards are so new. They're tough to shuffle, baby. And I am determined, baby. All right, just give me something here of this beloved person of authority that needed the strength to heal. I'm, I'm hearing, you know, very dignified person. Let's see, Spirit, can you give me some more information here? Why do they need a heal, Spirit? Spirit, why do they need to heal this person? Can you talk, please, Spirit? Oh, it's coming, baby. The answer's coming here. <laughs> and it goes right into my drawer. Nature. Nature has significance in this connection. Oh my goodness, okay. That's it for that. Nature, alignment. So somebody needed to heal and become aligned with their chakras or something was off in their chakras. Wholeness. Mm -hmm. Change. They needed a change. Maybe na nature has something to do with this healing energy grounding themselves so somebody needed to be grounded somebody needed to change somebody needed to align their chakras and somebody wholeness they needed to be whole again maybe they didn't feel whole in a connection they felt half they felt like they gave so much to a connection and they didn't feel like they felt like they gave so much to the connection that they lost something within themselves that they lost themselves to this person is what i'm hearing they needed to ground themselves in nature get away from this person, align themselves, heal from this 
whatever this was that happened to you or your person and have the courage bottom of the deck courage to do it because maybe it wasn't an easy thing to do to walk away from this person i'm hearing you gave everything put everything out there for this person only to be disappointed is what i'm hearing broken you gave everything and lost yourself is what i'm hearing and you needed to walk away have the strength the courage to walk away from this individual that you loved and align yourself and heal and change you need to change so maybe spirit guided you on out of a situation that was toxic is what i'm hearing it was one-sided is what i'm hearing you gave everything to this person and it wasn't reciprocated so you needed to get your this alignment this wholeness right what goes hand in hand with this healing you needed to be whole again because you didn't feel like you were all right spirit give me some more information please on this change and nature is a big part of that healing process you feel close to nature it does heal you all right so intuition yeah you used your intuition you needed to use your intuition in this connection the fourth chakra the energy of the heart chakra supports our inner guidance system which is governed by our heart and the capacity to love deeply so your chakra like it says here needed alignment it was off it was giving too much to a connection now there's abundance here you have abundance now and you are an authority in your beloved so this is what needed to happen this separation from this person in order for you to become one with nature in order for you for you, your chakras to be aligned in order for you to feel whole again friendship the energy of friendship supports our inter um intrinsic intrinsic desire for connection with others based on mutual affection and appreciation you needed to find that friend in yourself first you know i remember that song from mariah carey and then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on and you cast your fears aside and you know you can survive when you feel like hope is gone look inside you and be strong then you'll finally see the truth that the hero a hero lies in you and you needed to find your inner friendship with yourself and your inner hero is what i'm hearing yeah and it all came from walking away from a toxic relationship with your person your person was toxic and maybe you didn't you lived in denial of that for a long time you didn't want to believe that this person was toxic and maybe you had a friendship with this person and it was a real strong connection but you didn't use your intuition when it came to this you you really overlooked a lot of the red flags that were in this connection and you loved them with all of your heart you gave everything and lost yourself is what i'm hearing yeah and you needed to find yourself again all right spirit confirm or deny this truth thank you yeah eight of swords bondage and imprisonment it really was like you were this person's i hate to say the word slave but you were really imprisoned and bound to this person and their toxic their toxicities and obsessions you know what they wanted to do you did knight of swords they were very aggressive swords gemini libra aquarius and very demanding yeah controlling is what i'm hearing the star yeah you lost yourself though you were you are the star there's hope there's spirituality there's a lot of things that you believed in that this person did not you were much more spiritually grounded than they were you were much more spiritually open than they were and they kind of um i don't know stifled that is the word i want to use the high priestess there you go you have your intuition and you have the mysteries of life locked inside of you but instead of you going in that direction or even sharing that with your person you kept that inside because you knew they wouldn't understand this king of swords very dominant and stern individual you know very aggressive person maybe immature at one time but they are the king right so they it's like uh, do as i say and you did for a long time you lost yourself with this person you became bound to this person five of swords 
yeah, there's a lot of conflict. And finally, you felt defeated and you moved ahead because the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck change happened where the opening came and you took it. You know, you took it. You ran with it, you know, with tears in your eyes, man. And heavy heart, you walked away from this person. Nine of Cups, which is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Yeah, a lot of pride. You're their wish fulfillment. They're a very prideful person, very egotistical person. They have a lot of pride, but you're their wish fulfillment, and they don't want to let you go. King of Wands, they're a leader as well, charismatic person, very dominant individual, very sexually charged towards you. They've never let you go as far as the energy, and they're certainly spying on you and watching you. They did not want you to walk away, and they did not think you would walk away, but death is here. And yeah, there's an ending, but a new beginning for you in that your healing and abundance is in your future. It hasn't already happened. Two of coins, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they juggled and multitasked. You know, they had you on the back burner working on the career. They always thought that you would stick around as they just, I don't know, they, they just mistreated you in a lot of ways. But you are their queen of coins. You're nurturing, you are their security, everything that they needed but didn't appreciate you had yeah and now they're lost in a lot of ways without you because they didn't feel like you would do that to them you would leave four of coins yeah controlling very controlling individual thinking that they had you locked and they were mistaken page of coins a lot of admiration and a lot of people admire you and they see that you're winning. You're an authority and you're loved. Yeah, Ace of Cups, this person has so many emotions though for you. And they are just, I don't know. They're not letting you go. They're not going to let this thing go. Nine of Coins, yeah, they see your abundance. They see you winning. They see you glowing up. And uh, they're not a part of this and they're just it's this frustration that they want to get to you so badly and but they're in their ego you know the devil here bondage and toxicities that they have been under for a long time and you were going under with this person you had to break free somehow five of cups yeah now they're pessimistic and depressed but justice is going to happen fairness and balance is happening in your life yeah Maybe you're no longer just available to this person as you once were. Strength, you know, they're looking for the strength and the courage. They are too, to have that self-control, to break free from this toxicities. Six of Swords, you escaped, you walked away from this person. Didn't probably think that you would, but you did. Seven of Coins, but they want to invest in you. You know, they haven't let you go and they never will. And they want to come towards you and they're not, this is not over with yet. You didn't get closure. Well, they didn't get closure. They want to find you. They're not going to let this go because they love you. But you had to heal from their toxicities. They have to heal from their toxicities. So this is kind of in limbo at this point. You're not talking to this person. And maybe you're very guarded against this person. And you've blocked this person. And you have a lot of boundaries up against this person. Because they needed to have that happen. In order for them to appreciate you. All right. Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. There you go. There's the spirituality. There's the high priestess gang gang that's here. You have spiritual gifts. You're tapping into them now. You're no longer repressing them and you're getting abundance and you're getting downloads and you're getting that. You're being gifted by the universe because of that. Good for you. Keep going. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So somebody must have passed away in your family or friends or somebody that was um, you were concerned about, that you were worried about, that they were unhappy, and they're telling you that they are happy and they love you very much and they don't want you to worry about them. So that's a message for somebody out there. And that's, that's all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful on some level. Thank you so much for joining me on Empress Aries 888. Please like, subscribe, and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Till next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.